it's a happy anniversary to all of us i hope that you're enjoying our holiday programming it's an extended version of the am show we'll bring you live that uh, independence anniversary parade that will happen at the babayara sports stadium in Kumasi. There are conversations in Kumasi that we'll be picking this morning live on our show as well. Uh, but today we thought because all of us are home and we are relaxing, we'll learn plenty more about our motherland, Ghana. Ghana is 63 today. Uh, so we have some guests in the studio. We're going to be talking about, well, one is a photographer. He's been capturing a lot of pictures, uh, scenes from around our country. So he's going to be telling us the the stories through the pictures that he's actually captured so obed nate ado he's a photographer you just have to uh, go on social media and just uh, type just follow me and you see the amazing shots that he's taking over the years it's a pleasure to have you um obed and also rhyme sonny is a spoken word artist we could just put him on the spot like spoken word what what is what is on your heart today as we turn 63 um as blacks um the story of the black man has not been told as it should be and also the story of our political independence that should inspire our road to economic independence mm. we need to hit that story real hard because that independence um Kwame Nkrumah gave us actually inspired the rest of africa and so our political actors should follow that story, be inspired, and get us on the road to economic freedom. Mm. Mm. I'm listening to you carefully, and I'm thinking, yeah. But I'm also, I don't know, not optimistic. Like, I'm thinking, we've ever deviated so much, I wonder if we will ever go back. Um, we, we are all pessimists, but we can be optimists at, at some point in time. We hope, and we as a group of people mm. should work towards it. It doesn't come on a silver platter. We need to make conscious effort to work towards mm. that. And so you are part of it, I'm part of it. The whole, everybody is part of it. Let's be inspired by the stories of our forefathers and push for economic Great. freedom. Do you have a word though? Do you have a... Uh, uh, you know, like a poem or something like that. Think uh, about it in the course okay. of the right. in the course of the conversation, because right. you've got to give us something. No problem. Uh, but Obed knee, I think I like the knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Where have you been around this beautiful country of ours? Mostly in the Volta region. Okay. I love, I love the Volta region. That's where you come from. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so, what is it about the the Volta region in particular? The Volta region, it's 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 a beautiful place. Uh, I would say is. It's one of the regions that has uh, the most uh, tourist sites in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. A lot of wonderful places to visit in the Volta region. It's, it's, it's small but then vast. Okay. It's small but then vast. And mm. then uh, I love their culture. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We would start as you're talking, mm -hmm. put your pictures out there, explain okay. to us what we see in the shots. Okay. So this was, uh, I took this picture, this picture last uh, two years ago. Okay. I think for... Uh, at the Mesha Palace. Okay. Yeah. Was this uh, when the the Asante Hema? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. This is the funeral of Asante. Funeral of okay. Asante. All right. Great. So this was in the Ashanti region. Yeah. And there's a uh, Afajatu. Okay. So that's We're your climbing. favorite place, which is the Volta. Yeah, Volta region. And then uh, Kumase. Uh, it's one of uh, it's one of uh, I would say Edum. It's in Edum. We took mm -hmm. this picture in Edum. We just we just felt like taking this picture when we went out. So what was, the, was this like a market where they sell they sell locally drum, made? They sell, yeah, locally okay. made. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where is this? This is like where they weave kente. kente uh -huh. Okay. So, so where exactly? Uh -huh. I was gonna say Boria, but but when you say you like the Volta region, no, this is not the Volta this region. Not the, it's okay. Boria. Boria. Okay. Yeah. One of the villages in Borre. Okay. Yeah. So this is how they weave the kente. Yeah, this is how they weave okay. the kente. Uh, before Star, way back in Kumase. Okay. Yeah. That's also a big, big Yeah, when, when he started in Kumase. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I said we. I said we. Uh, there's a Lipe Todome. This is where? Lipe Todome. Okay. Uh, in the Volta region. Okay. Uh, so Lipe Tolome has six ancestral caves. 
So that was Liquid Tolo Mayor. This is Kakumi National Park. Hmm. Uh, this is in uh, Cape Coast. Was was the vehicle driving? Was a tie going to drive on the the? the, the oh, the, that, that was a chalk. Yeah, <laughs> look at it. We say that's a chalk. So uh, to prevent the car from moving, yeah, seriously, the driver had to use the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the that's the driver. He's called Morris. Oh. Yeah, he does stunts. Uh, car stunts. Okay. He's yeah, a mechanic. Yeah. Not as a job. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So we're telling where, where is this? Uh, this is cool. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Wow. One of the oldest churches in, in Kwewu, in Ghana. And there's also the Presbyterian Church. Still in Kwewu? Yeah, still in Kwewu. You know, I think the thing we miss on occasions. We just look at the people and the celebrations. We miss the architecture. Exactly. The landscape. Those are the beauty and the pictures that we can sell. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So let's let's talk about because one of the things I wanted us to talk about is what is our story. You know, we know that you know the history. Maybe you should tell us a bit about that. Then we'll come to what our story is today and if we can talk about it in the same way. Okay, so um, our story it is what it is, um, but most of our story that was handed down to us, let's say looking at storytelling back in the days, mm. what actually storytelling did was to um, prepare the youth for life. And these storytelling events in the, back in the days actually handed down to us culture, our cultural preservation, our value system, our morals, and that's why we employ um, imagery of using animals and birds to describe stories that will stick to us for a long time to come. Um, the morals we learned were about jealousy, how the effect of jealousy, effect of greed, effect of stealing. These were things that were instilled in us through our storyteller. But along the way, it may be of um, it may have gotten infiltrated with the Western culture and all of that, but we're still telling our stories through our art, our film, our photography. Um, when you look at pictures of um, Pare, Yao Pare, and all these are the things that are, are selling Ghana today. Mm. Our content on the internet our reporters, our journalists, the stories they are telling about the country. When you Google Ghana, what are the stories of the success stories that comes out? The World Bank um, research and all of that points to stories of the works that we've done in our country. Mm. So our stories are vast, and but as artists, we will pick some of them and then tell it as it is, or we'll pick the ones that are not being told mm -hmm. and tell it in that beautiful manner that we are trained to do. Mm -hmm. Do you do you struggle to paint a picture of, of Ghana, Ni? Sometimes. Uh, one of our biggest problems as uh, travel photographers is uh, we don't get access to most of, most of the locations. Sometimes you want to go shoot something, but then you're restricted. But then when a foreigner comes, mm. he or she is allowed to go take photographs of. Okay. Is it simply because that person is a foreigner? Or is it because we don't go through the processes that they would typically go through? Same process we go through. <laughs> but there are quite a number of you traveling and taking photos. Yeah. How many of you? A lot. A lot of us. A lot of us. A lot of us. And the, the thing is, uh, most of us are not, we finance everything by ourselves. Mm. We, so this is, this, you know, purely an in individual, individual initiative. Yeah. Uh, but what's the motivation? I mean, there are, like, a lot of other things that you could do. These are great uh, videos yeah. that you've captured. Where is this? Uh, this is Elmina. Okay. And without anybody even explaining, like, a voice telling you, just by watching the video you get to understand what Elmina stands for. Yeah, sure. So what's your motivation? Okay, so uh, growing up, growing up, I realized 
uh, there was this space left in in my in my life in my life which which I couldn't identify I couldn't I couldn't make any means of it so I I travel to identify myself mm. I don't travel to see places okay I don't travel to see places so you're just discovering you myself yeah. okay I don't travel That's to interesting. see places sounds interesting yeah one of the motivation also for me is um how to change the narrative because everything is now on social media and we are telling pictures through visuals and if we don't consciously tell our photographers or employ our photographers to do the work for us we will we'll lose out on the global market mm. be my motivation for writing poetry is to express myself express um my fears my worries and also to warn people about the dangers of life using people's stories and my story mm. yes Do, are you surprised that what you identify and what you you say through your word people relate relate Instantly. are you surprised that people relate no it? i'm not surprised that is the effect the cause and effect of what i'm doing i want people to have that instant um effect of my work not so i have moved away from the abstract to reality mm. where i give you the word as it is and right there and then you can decipher what i'm talking about than thinking about each line in different like through so many seconds before understanding the work mm. we give the work to you as an as it should be said do you realize the two of you that by what you do you are telling our story as a, as a nation so this is not like deliberately where somebody has commissioned someone to do something yeah, sure. but by showcasing what you think you're packaging you're telling our stories does it okay to you that you're telling the story of Ghana? yes yes um consciously um i was part of a group of young people bloggers um a couple of years ago and we tried to figure out what Ghana looks like on the global market. Mm -hmm. And we realize that we don't have enough content to position ourselves well. And so as artists, we decided to focus on what we have and tell our stories as it is. So I try to employ language. Mm -hmm. So I use different languages, like the, um, typically of the tree, mm -hmm. to express myself and to, and to employ them in my work. Okay. So when I travel out, every work of mine should have that um, sense of identity in it using the language mm. i want us to listen to some ex uh, except of what you've you've done and then we'll come back maybe you would have a, a, a word a fresh word for us here we go Good evening, everyone. Um, I've traveled um, 5,000 miles to be with you, coming yeah. from Accra, Ghana. Great. If you believe that there can be no son without a father, that means you believe that only one father can create a son. And do you believe that it was the same father that created that son, created this son? Or was it the different father that created that son, created this son? Okay. You see, I'm talking about two creations here. The son and the son. Mm -hmm. Both creations lies in the heart of the world, the solar system. Both lies in the heart of the Christian, the Muslim, or other religious isms. One is more than 100 billion stars, the Milky Way. And one is actually the way where you cannot find a way in the Milky Way. <laughs> the son of man and the son for man. See, the earth makes a complete revolution around the sun every 365 days. And we add a year to our sun's age every 365 days. 93 million miles away from the earth. Yes, so close, like the sun in our hearts. When you do the math, assuming we are started counting from 7 billion BC, you will see how many fathers this sun has fathered, the amount of energy the sun has provided. You see, 
see, before a father can create a son, that father must first acknowledge that there is indeed a son. A son whose father is so great. He created your father, my great grandfather. He has fathered me and fathered my father. My source of power. Power equals energy. Energy equals light. The son is the source of light. The son is the way, the truth, and the light. You can only find your way to the father with him or through him. The Elohim, they call him. The theme in many hymns. Without him, the world would have completely been dim. It fills my morning gladness to the brim. Blessed, the only potentate, the king of kings, Lord of lords. Yes, that is him. He created the heavens and the earth. His breath warms the earth. Not that dwelleth upon the earth shall worship him. So often and cherubim, or Christians worship him. While live Yaqub, while Ishaq, while Ibrahim. The first and last of the Greek alphabet. Alpha and Omega. I'm not talking about superbet. Yet his wings are mega. His photo has been described with the most number of sentences. It's a reason for the biological principle, photosynthesis. So from Genesis, count your blessings, divide your losses over your profit. Now multiply your benefits. What is your answer? I know your answer is God. The answer to the most complex mathematical equations, 5x plus 2y equals 5,000, where x is bread and y is fish. I don't care whether it's pala or one man thousand. I fed 5,000 people. He will heal the cripple. So what is your problem? Just break it, he will solve them. Oh yeah. no, no, let that go but a quammy tiny, but this messy abro sign. Oh no, it's not dining room behind us at nature. Bow home by Sanya, men know when see that now. Hi, many work coming here in the chair. Quine, my name is Ron Sonny. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Explain, Ram Sonny, what stage was this? This is what this was a mind of a matter, London, um, Camden Town. Yeah, so I was you're a guest. incredible. On the, on the show in 2018. Okay. Yes. Mm. So what's the, where, where has your works taken you so far? Um, gladly, it's taking me to, other, to um, a couple of African countries, the UK, Spain, France, and other places. Yes. And one, one, one of the things that I do is that I try to incorporate, like I told you, language mm. at the end, in, in my poems, and then people... In a, f a foreign audience, they come to ask you mm. for the meaning of those words. That is where you get the linkage. That is where they identify with where you are coming from. Mm. And any big stage across the world that I stand on, I first introduce myself as coming from Accra, Ghana, mm. first before I go into my piece. So anybody who, has, who is selling the country, selling who we are, yes, and so our words, and our tonation, everything should tell us also. I don't fake like um, because you are with them, you need to slang like no, no, no. It is about just yourself. lingua. Poetry is not English. Mm. Poetry is language. You can join us if you have uh, any questions or comments uh, on WhatsApp 0540 We'll put that number on your screen shortly. You can WhatsApp us. Uh, and then let me activate the phone lines now. Uh, you can also give us a call on 055-6614-049. I have a spoken word artist in the studio. I also have a traveling photographer, Ni, who's been sharing some of, her, uh, some of his pictures with us. But Rhyme Sony, I want to stay with you, uh, you know, a bit. Uh. Do you struggle... Uh, are you just doing positives about us? Are you conscious? Because of, of course you you are aware of what you're doing. Um, but are you deliberately telling a positive story, or you're just mixing it up? No, I. Okay, so in two forms, um, poetry has become a business for me. So I tell stories of corporations. If you, I, um, a multimedia can call me to tell their story in that um, manner. Okay. And do that. So. That one, that aspect is there. There are times that you are inspired by things around you. So I get inspired by everything and also nothing. Mm. So in the fullness of things, I pick up stuff and I talk about them. But in the nothingness of things, we are creative creatures, created by a creator to also be creative and create. So we create things into being. With, in out of nothing, mm. out of the vacuum, we create things into being. Mm. So. Um, I told every story from religion to politics to mm. love to social issues, the negatives, the positives. What have you? How do you see Ghana at 63? Okay, so. In um, your words. Okay, so there's a piece I would like to share with your audience. Mm. Um, 
and is is a, is a very is landed me in a lot of troubles because I, I was a bit blunt about and the choice of words that I, I, I mm. took up uh, talks about the few who are enriching themselves today at the expense of the majority must understand that the majority who are suffering today cannot guarantee the future of the few who are enriching themselves today conformists now non-conformists we have become pessimists because our experiences as optimists you keep telling us you change our metals to gold like you are some kind of optimist some, like some kind of some kind of alchemist chemist you miss like kaolin and sodium hydrogen carbonate for us to upset our stomach upset you are upset we are down frustrated and upset because for years we have stomached the various set of lies you fed us it has become poison now give us one tangible reason why we should not spit in your face next season it's not all about our monies it's not all about you and your cronies families have become our worst enemies and Ghana we have to pray but hey we keep praying against these enemies, avoiding them by any means. But these enemies keep finding many means to execute their plans. Same group, different clans, different items in similar clans. NNDPCCPPP. New National Democratic Patriotic Confederation Congress Progressive People's Political Parties. Listen, your activities is moving the nation back like the Al-Qaeda dance. Ghana, bread, Al-Qaeda, why do they do we so? Well, I don't blame you. I blame those poor souls whose souls were sold in the form of votes to these foes, foes of our souls. You have erected poles for them to score their goals. Goals of corruption, fouls of mismanagement, free kicks of kickbacks, kicking back our freedom, making us losers like the game of chairs. You keep changing out them every four years like the musical chairs. And you think that is a solution? Or your take home pay cannot even take you home? Or you don't have anything to call your own? See, the meat is left with the bone. I'm already not going to do it. Ghana done this crafts. And you cook a pay. And put your bet on the same. Your bet on the same. We say, I don't see a child. What? Now let me tell you how they do it. See, they can't words to impress. Address the press. Promise progress. But after you have given them the yes, they take all the largesse. Digress from the express way to success. Stress to impress their masters. Whilst you and I live in a mess. See, life is full of stress and sometimes can hinder one desire to progress. God has blessed us, yes, and want to see this nation progress. So why are people working harder to make sure this blessing become a case? You could not make money out of church, row. And today you are talking about taxes. So many taxes, we don't even know where our taxes. And the task is, we need to identify new taxpayers, not new taxes. So whoever is in charge of our finances, please, if you can't widen the tax net, just take a back seat. Then I heard somebody saying, if you widen the tax net, a lot of taxpayers will fall out. So we need an IMF bailout. That was the joke of the century. Let's go and read our economic history. Is this not the land of gold? Royal, haven't we found oil? Don't we have fertile soil? So why is it that our leaders are taking us on a spiral road like the mosquito coil? Not even the Rolls Royce, the you turn bass. You've torn our backs for your selfish gains. See, I agree that we've made modest economic gains. We have significant rains. But where are the grains from our front plains? Ghana's food basket. So guys, if we don't talk, we will, we will choke on our words on spoken. They will tell you every project is in the pipeline. Plans are far advanced. Measures are being taken. So I ask, why don't you advance the plans, take the measures, declare the projects in the pipeline? I wish every nation has a deadline. Like you will see on the tabloids, banner headline. Ghana is dead, bold, and alive. But, but since I, I believe in God and the power of his resurrection, Ghana can be resurrected. Absolutely. From her head, the red, Absolutely. to her yellow body, to her feet, the green. <laughs> We will still resurrect. Amen. I love you, man. I love that. Just as it is. Okay. Adam has been on the line for a while. Adam is calling from my flower. Adam, good morning. Happy holiday. Amen. I love you, man. I love that. Okay. Adam, I see we have a challenge. You have to turn down the volume on your television sets before we can speak. Otherwise, we'll have that delay in this conversation. So I'm just going to let you go. You correct that, and then we'll get back talking. So you can give us a call um, on the number on the number you've seen on the screen, or send me a WhatsApp. Can you hear me now? Oh, yes, Adam, I can hear you now. Yes, great. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I want to tell my dad that he do all. <laughs> and then uh, this is a signal to our politicians to know that uh, we citizens, we are suffering, they need to do what is right mm. for the development of this nation. I've got a question for you, Adam. Okay. We are 63. Yeah. Describe you at 63. And when I say you, I'm talking about Ghana. Your Ghana at 63. I can't hear you. I want you to describe your Ghana at 63. 
the Ghana at 63 is still as poor as. Is, it, is, is that all that you see, Adam? Yeah, Ghana is developing, but our politicians are uh, putting us back. But uh, what, what we expect from, uh, what we expect Ghana to do at this point, mm. Ghana is not at that stage. Mm. So, so when it goes to other countries, mm. they are developing fast. But we, we we don't want to change our mentality as Ghana. Mm. Even politicians don't care about us. Okay, so, so Adam, I'm putting yeah. the spotlight on you. What yeah. are you doing? What are you in your capacity? This is Independence Day. This is a very patriotic day. So what are you as an individual doing to change this narrative? Yeah, I am an individual. I'm doing a lot of things to the betterment of this country. Because I'm a teacher, I teach my children uh, at school. I do educate them more about moral values, okay. values that they need to have, and then values that they need to, uh, to use to develop the country. Mm. So I've been thinking a lot of knowledge into my okay. people, the right. development of Ghana. Okay, great. Let's keep hope alive then. Thank you very much yeah. and enjoy the rest of the holiday. Thank, thank you for reaching yeah, us. Welcome. I love that. I love that word. Okay, me. What's what's your you've you've talked about your favorite place which is the Volta region, yeah. but when you travel and take those pictures, what do you see? Like what 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 are the stories around you? What's the picture that you can paint to us from the places that you visited? Okay, so a picture like what's showing right here is Anyanwe in the Volta region. Okay. Oh, well, you you've seen you've seen some of it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna. He's so, talking about a certain picture that picture, he's seen. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's 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 an island. And then before you get to the island, you have to cross uh, a river. Okay, is that it? Yeah. yeah. Ah, this is Anyami. Yeah. Really? After, meet me there. Hey! So, you... Wow. Uh, Didn't think. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Very quiet. Uh, yeah. This clean, is very clean. Yeah. Very, very, very clean. Wow. One of the cleanest beaches I've ever seen. And very quiet. It's a village, actually, so... There are not a lot of people around. And then one thing one thing I love about this place. Okay, there's Ada. There's also Ada. Uh, one thing I love, uh, like you said, uh, when I travel, you you find out that you find out that there are a lot of tourist destinations. And then um I, I I have fellow photographers as well, travel mm -hmm. photographers. They always complain about the government not not doing anything to help the storage sites mm -hmm. and all that. Okay. I when I began I also complained a lot. But then I realized it wasn't the government. It was it was you you and I. As as, as individual as citizens. We'll come we'll come to that. Just hold your thoughts there. Let me talk to Eric. Eric is joining us from KJB. Eric, good morning. Happy holiday. Yeah, good morning to you all. Great. You know, you turn 63 today, so how are you? As, yeah, as you turn 63, no, what do you see? Oh, yeah. Um, Ghana, we have, we are developing. Hello. Hello, Eric? Yes. You said you, we are developing. Yeah, we are, we are developing, okay. but uh, what I can say is that Ghana we are not doing well, especially the politicians. Mm. They, are, they are bringing the country down. How are they at doing this, that? Yeah, at this time we're supposed to achieve a lot of things because we have the resources. But as at now, we don't know what our politicians are doing. Especially, to, I'm, I'm a teacher. They want to change the educational background. And they have introduced new curriculum. But I thought before they introduce the curriculum, we have the materials. But you can see where we are now. So we don't know how they are planning before introducing new things. Everything they will tell us pipeline. Everything is in the pipeline. No, we should try to achieve something. That's what I want us to think about. Now. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Eric. Now this is your pipeline and your. <laughs> okay, so um, you were telling us about how you think 
we are also the cause, so it's not it's yeah. not the state. Yeah, I believe we are the cause. As I say, a place like um, uh, when you visit, uh, they call it Bola Beach. Bola Beach. Yeah, behind, where behind uh, in Accra. Yeah, in Accra. Okay. You find a lot of rubbish. Yeah, that's why it's called a Bola Beach. Yeah, and then you ask yourself. <laughs> But then a place like close to the Independence, Independence Square? Square, yeah. Mm. And then a place like Ananui, where I showed you, mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. the place is clean. Mm. So, um, so tourism, in its sense, has their own peculiar challenges. Um, different aspects of our tourism, in terms of the museums, the monuments, are under the museums, the monument board. The forestry is under the forestry commission. The wildlife is commission, and the the board is trying to synchronize all of this. It's a huge <laughs> challenge. And Ghana actually, we came, we uh, we got to um, the point where we wanted to take tourism is seriously not long ago, just about 20 to 30 years from President Rollins' time. So these are unique challenges that we are so the fact, I, I, trying I, I, to the fact surmount. that we have different regulators or yes, in the diff tourism different sphere. agencies responsible for the various things. Yes. And okay. tourism is not an industry; it's a sector mm. where it has the. Do you have a different view, or yeah, a place, a place like Anyanui, this mm -hmm. island. Uh, it's it's clean, mm -hmm. but it, it, it they, didn't they clean don't, itself. No, they, they don't people take tickets. Did. They don't take tickets okay. for you to visit there. So but then the people clean the beach. They do everything by okay. themselves. Okay, so so now you so so I see that you are talking about ordinarily what we do. We do as because individuals. if people throw rubbish then it is them doing it good but you're talking about another community where the people are doing the right thing there's nobody watching over them, over them but, but they are simply just yes. keeping their place neat yes i don't okay. know about anyanui but this looks like a private property <laughs> where people are managing. i know anyanui because i come from Angola. <laughs> okay so <laughs> this, this looks like a private property i i, I just it's haven't not... viewed it the way he has captured it yeah you know sometimes yeah it, it's... the angles no i have, I have a lot just... of pictures about you i have a lot okay. of pictures so, of Anyanui. You so can, I call, you can let's pictures. explore the places but you see, I kind of get what he's talking about because I've worked on the Angloga beach, even though it's very rocky, yeah. before. And I don't see the kind of things that you would see when you visit, if you go to Accra. Tourism when you visit it. can be affected by and there's population. No, and there's nobody there saying don't do don't. the wrong thing. Like, there's nobody watching you. But the people are simply just doing the right it's thing. It's the leadership inspired. <laughs> so, for example, um, 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 Nana Press, um, um, town mm. in um, eastern region uh, in, in central region mm. uh kushia it, the place is as clean it, like the culture is like a taboo to drop a, a rubbish Ooh, I think culture so it's, is the it's, word. it's culture mm -hmm. and also leadership inspired mm. like i was telling you about our stories what's the kind of storytelling that happened back in the days where preparing the youth mm. for life and these stories tells you they put in nugget proverbs that will tell you that when you drop this you turn into a, a stone or something and these things when it gets into people mm -hmm. our forefathers they use wisdom to tell our stories yeah. to inspire us not to do the wrong things hmm. and so it's from it, we we need a, I, an inspired leadership okay I, I have a, a yeah. question that i'll throw before we wrap up salam is in picky oh. salam <laughs> happy holiday yeah. thank you for holding let's hear you Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I like your program very well, and you are doing very well. Thank you. So we. I wanted mm -hmm. to no, commend a man who is doing the photography and the web story. They are all doing very well. Okay, great. But Salom, you are sixty-three today. So yeah. at sixty-three, can you describe yourself? Yeah. At What's your story? How I'll describe myself is like. Yeah. Hello. Salam, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. At 63, I think we are like, we have to be in a gratified uh, uh, position, but now we are in a dementia. Mm -hmm. Like, we are thinking backwards instead of moving forward. So, I'll describe myself as a man who is in a dementia. <laughs> okay. How do you get out of that state, though? Pardon me? How do you get out of that state? By self-actualization, diagnosing ourselves to do the right thing. Mm. Okay. All right. 
I feel you, Salom. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the holiday. Uh, so I, w I wanted to ask no. this. The people who are in the places where we throw the refuse, like we dump things, mm -hmm. where have they come from? Okay. They live amongst us. <laughs> okay, so, Mamavi, let me, let me chip in this. So we, we all want to travel outside. Most, most of us want to travel outside. When, when we hear of Dubai, we hear of everybody, okay, I want to go, I want to go because of, because of their buildings, because of their cities are clean, because... They have nice structures and all that. And then, and then we come back to Ghana and we ask ourselves, ah, why is it that you can't go to somewhere like Likwe? You can't go to somewhere like uh, Tafia Tome, like Anyanui, mm. and then Hafa, and they go like, hmm, and the place is not beautiful. And then, but then, in the, in the olden days, we used, to respect, we used to respect the spirits in the waters. We used to respect the spirits in the forest. And those were the things that actually got yeah. us to, okay, so if I respect the spirits in the waters, wait, boss, let mm -hmm. me, yeah. if, if, if I know that uh, the, uh, the every water has a spirit, mm. I wouldn't throw rubbish into mm. that water. Mm. Mm. If I know there's a spirit in the forest that keeps the forest uh, clean and good, I wouldn't go cut trees. Mm. Mm. And this tourism is about, is about our, our, our landscape as well. I wouldn't do all these kind of things. But then here's the case, right now, there's, there's, there's no love for nature, all these things. We don't fear the spirits. We don't spirits. fear the spirits. <laughs> so, so, so we don't fear the like spirits. Um, so professor, anybody... Um, um, the late Professor Kofi Awuno mm -hmm. said in his poem, um, The Anvil and the Hammer, we find ourselves in the middle of the two hard places, our culture and the Western influence. So our stories used to have these nuggets that get you afraid to mm. do certain things mm. nobody can go and do galancy in antwa river <laughs> even if the, 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 there's the some element of gold in there you can't and cobra used to be um one of those rivers that people are uh, evoked to do um incantations and all of that mm. but when that story vanished mm. People are not afraid of the Ancobra River again. Tunnel, everybody is doing what they have to do in, in the river. But if we knew that, okay, there's a river god mm. that will strike you dead as a story handed to us in this, I'm sure this will be deterrent to giving galam Well, sales. the spirits are alive in some places, in my hometown at least. Yeah. Uh, our last caller is Abdullah in Takrade. Abdullah, happy holiday to you. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you very much and same to you. Great, thank you. Let's hear you. All right. Um, first of all, I would like to find out if I could get Rhyme Sonny's contact. Okay. Well, that's uh, possible. After you speak to me, just hold on. Uh, and let's right. take your contact so we can pass it on. All right. Yes. Uh, Mama V, fr frankly, <laughs> it's frustrating to, to be a Ghanaian and to live in Ghana because uh, we are trying our very best as individuals to make sure that the country is progressing but unfortunately when you get to other parts of the country and you you ask yourself if this is ghana last two weeks i was in exam and what i saw gracious me i was just like e, it's serious i think leadership has lost its function because what being disciplined in the system is just mm. too much mm. and uh, if we would put politics aside and speak the truth and sensitize one another. This country will, will get far. Uh, as an individual, if, frankly, we are doing our very best. We are doing our very best. But, you know, mm -hmm. if the majority of us are doing the wrong things, mm -hmm. the few of us who are doing the right things, mm -hmm. this will overshadow us. Yeah. And so let's pray for Ghana. I see where you're coming from, but one of the yeah. things we shouldn't also do is just continue to do the right thing, even if you think you're in the minority. So just, yeah, exactly. You never know who you inspire. But thank you very much for your words this morning. Just hold on and give us your contacts before you hang, you hang up. So you speak to my producer, Derek Echo Sam. All right. Uh, so we will take you to Kumasi after this conversation. The dignitaries arriving at the Babayara Sports Stadium. It's the first time this is happening in the Ashanti region, in the garden city of Kumasi. Uh, this is the second time, really, that we're having this anniversary parade outside the Greater Accra region. Remember, the first was last year in Tamale, uh, because this is going to be rotating. That's the decision mm -hmm. that 
this government took, and we've, we've done the first one in Tamale, this one is happening in Kumasi. Well, I think you the country has to start. Yeah, this is the first time being held in Kumasi, and the second time outside the Tamale town, Accra. Yeah. 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 I have come to announce that this is the first time being held in Kumasi, the live scenes from the Babayara Sports Stadium, the people of Kumasi. I'm absolutely proud. You've kind of taken this on and done a whole week long celebration. I think this was the best decision really to rotate this because I think for a crowd we're getting tired. The excitement hasn't been the same. You know, I don't know what, what, what you feel what, or what you see. Um, I think um, the euphoria is, is being taken away from the the, the the capital mm. to other countries and it's good like Ghana is not Accra and <laughs> so everybody should have a feel of what how it feels to win yeah, um, we, all these regions are more or less like Siamese swings we have one stomach as a Ghana but then let the food pass through different mouths yeah. and let everybody taste how um, great the nutrients are do you want to have a take on this me when it comes oh, yeah, actually, it doesn't matter where we do the parade. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let, let me read some of your messages because a lot of you have reached out as well. Uh, this one says, Ghana at 63. We are still work in progress. Genevieve in South Africa reaching out and saying that. Uh, this one says, good morning, Mama V. Partisan politics is the biggest of our problems as a country. The very moment a political party wins an election, they are thinking about the next election and not the next generation. And same for opposition parties. This is what breeds corruption, which is gradually killing us. God save Ghana. It's from Mohammed from Tamale. Uh, and please don't call this number. You just disrupt the reading. Uh, this one says, uh, good morning. In fact, our leaders today should not take advantage. There you go. Okay, our leaders mm -hmm. today should not take advantage of this Independence Day to paint uh, that all is well when it is when it is actually not well okay you i get your message uh, this one says my little contribution to the program eddie uh, techimensen watching from geneva switzerland says i believe in order to develop and maintain a clean environment the leadership must enforce it by imposing heavy fines on indiscipline regarding cleanliness secondly it must be built into our culture just as it is practiced in switzerland singapore and other western cultures Superstition is not an efficient tool to enforce the law. Okay, Ayo. Uh, plenty more uh, messages. Maybe some two more. We'll cross over to Kumasi in a bit. This one says, my contribution to the program. Okay, no. I think I've shared this already. Uh, this one says, what I've realized is Ghana can never develop anymore because our politicians keep on making this country how it is. Uh, okay. This is uh, Marco inside Man Mankago in Savannah region and I hope that I didn't massacre the name but listen you should be I, I don't know you should be really positive about about our country all right so uh, I want us to wrap up you know in here and then we'll cross over to, to Kumasi just in, in a minute okay um, how are you reflecting on this day so I just um, want to say that let's tell some positive stories about our heroes about mm the people who inspired us in the past. These storytelling activities inspire education, entertainment, and cultural preservation. And it will change our attitude. All we need is an attitude, not change, and systems that works. Mm. Because not that um, people don't make rubbish elsewhere in other countries, but the system works that as soon as the certain time, Oswald Street in London is being clean. Yes. So systems that works mm. and attitude not change from citizens. Great. Ni? Yeah, so I would like to say uh, travel photography is not all about taking pictures of landscapes. It's about our culture, mm -hmm. our history, mm. and that's what I'm about. And I know a lot of travel photographers who also do the same thing. Yes. So I would like to say less 
to my fellow uh, travel photographers, let's shoot more of our culture, mm -hmm. let's shoot more of our history than the landscape. Because the landscape, I believe, is already there. Mm -hmm. It's already online. Yeah. Everybody sees it. But then, what's our story to yeah. tell the world? Yeah. Thank you. I've loved what you've shared with us through your lenses. I'm really grateful. Thank you for bringing back Anyangi. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a last message from Komla in Thailand. Komla says, Happy Independence Day. My prayer is that we will unify around shared values and strategic development goals as we look back to look forward. We need more bridge builders in Ghana. Too much divisive politics. By the way, I'm quite surprised that the government of Ghana is going ahead with a public event in Kumasi in spite of the threat of an outbreak of the coronavirus. Uh, it is the opposite of uh, strenuous effort measures that nations around the world are making to contain the virus. That's a very important point that you hit on. And in the Daily Graphic newspaper, a legal practitioner, Akuto Ampao, is raising some questions. Uh, exactly what you've, what, you're, what you've said to us. People are avoiding crowds, but in Ghana... It's not an emergency for us, so we'll see how that goes.